Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I've found a little piece of paradise for a very, very important reason. I have the all new from top to bottom 2022 Acura MDX. Of course, ours is the A-Spec trim. But before we get into this luxury sport SUV, I want to talk about what's going on here. So Acura, this brand that's been around since 1986, has been doing a little bit of a renaissance with changing up their lineup and really evolving it. Now, with the MDX, it's been around since 2001, which is kind of crazy because it doesn't seem like it's been that long, but we are now on the fourth generation, and what Acura is professing is that they've taken that level of precision-crafted performance to a wholly different stratosphere. And not only from the outside, but also all the work underneath all that beautiful sheet metal and wait until we get in the interior. So what I wanted to do with this review is really showcase some of those big points when it comes to what are the changes, what are the updates, what are the redesigns that they've done with the MDX because guess what? This is gonna be the first review of a few to really showcase and then of course we wanna culminate with that Type S, that higher level of performance and driving experience. So let's find out what the changes are, what the updates are, and also find out, is this a luxury sport SUV that you're gonna to wanna to park in your garage? So let's find out. Right off the bat, love the new look. Still looks familiar, but you could clearly see the changes. Underneath all the sheet metal, we have a totally different chassis. It's actually Acura's new truck chassis platform. More rigid, it's gonna give you a little bit more of a wider track, and also a longer wheelbase. Now let's start at the headlight design. You can see how they kind of evolved their headlight design. You're gonna have that multi-LED dual beam setup. Really love the clean styling. Not a super large housing, which I also really like, and I'm digging how it's all blacked out on the interior. You have your chicane style daytime running lamp, and of course, your turn signals, which we have the hazards on to kind of showcase how those will illuminate. Now, one of my favorite parts of the front end of the business kind of also detracts a little bit. I really dig the way they put this beautiful body line that kind of extends off of the front end of the vehicle. The only zonk is, this is a fake vent. It would have been nice to have an air curtain there. Now, according to the engineers and designers, they say that this has more efficient airflow than if they actually made this a functional side air curtain. So we'll take their word for it. But overall, it would have just been nice to have that functionality because it looks oh so good. Now when we come across that center section, Acura is doing such a great job with their grills. Simple on the color, so it's a flat black, but if you notice all the individual elements drifting from that Acura logo in the center, because we have an A-spec trim, you're going to get the gloss black around the whole perimeter. And remember, you're looking at the whole front fascia, bumper, grill, everything is new for 2022. We drop down, you can see how they take that, that point of the front end and carry it all the way down. We have functional openings in the center. The way they extend that lower lip area gives it a lot of element and depth of design. And the flat black, I think, just helps keep it really, really clean. Now, when we get up onto the hood, that beautiful pearlescent white, sparkling like a white diamond, you have that rise, and then look how it just goes all the way down the hood and then drifts away. Other than that, you have your lines going towards the A pillars and it kind of mimics what's happening on the grill. It's almost showing motion without any motion taking place, at least right now. When we go around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire stuff? So you're gonna have a ton of different options when it comes to wheels. Of course, you're still gonna have front wheel drive and that SH all wheel drive, which our A-Spec has the super handling all wheel drive. But on our A-Spec are these all new design wheels. 20 inch wheel, actually 20 by nine. So if you compare this to the previous generation, you're getting more rubber to meet the road that's gonna give you higher levels of grip and a better driving experience. Still that shark gray color. So what Acura does is they sample about 42 different species of sharks and they come out with the perfect gray metallic finish on the wheel. I'm digging the overall design, nice split spoke and I think it works well with the white. They kind of carry the flat black from the lower portion of the front end all the way around. And one thing I also kind of missed on is that there are LED fog lamps tucked in very nicely on that front fascia. But the way they bring a, just a little bit of flat black, nothing too high. Love the nice body line. Of course, you're gonna get your 
A-Spec badging. Remember, A-Spec is more of an appearance sport package. If you're looking for that higher level of actual performance, you're going to have to go Type S, but I think it may be that one that you've been really waiting for like I have. Look at what they did. This is something new. They actually took the gloss black trim that runs along the window treatment. They started it on the front fender. I'm actually kind of liking that, especially from the side of the vehicle. You have gloss black that's part of the A-Spec. Gloss black on the mirror caps, just like the grill. You have your turn singles, really slim and trim. Little bit of gloss black along the bottom. And then the lower portion, which is closer to the road that's gonna take a bigger beating, is flat black. And I think that's super smart, especially the way it kind of flows over the fender openings. Now, like I said, gloss black top and bottom, super clean. You got your color match door, uh, door handles. I like the way there's no roof rails. Obviously, you could add that, but I think it just cleans up the whole side of the vehicle, especially because this is an A-spec trim. Even the way they flare this portion out really, really looks great. And the way it kind of goes with this beautiful body line, it's almost like a rainbow shape body line on the bottom portion of the doors, gives it that element of design where it looks like it's moving, even though we're not. As we get to the rear, good size on that quarter window there, nice shape to the trim. Body line's looking great as everything flows into the rear pillar. And then as we wrap it around the back, I think they did some things super well. I love the taillight design, really clean, something kind of different, but also nothing that's too obnoxious, which I like. You have a very, very low roof spoiler with some gloss black. You have a matching shark fin antenna. This is gonna be the other zonk. So the zonk with the fake vent, I'm gonna have to zonk this rear glass wiper. It would be nice if, at least on the A spec, if they extended the rear spoiler off the roof and then kind of tucked it in and had it sweep down would just clean up the whole back. But the Acura badge has never looked better on the back of this MDX. Of course, we got all the other badging, the super handling all wheel drive and the A-Spec badge. And as we drop down, you can see just like we started off the front with a point, we now end with a point right in the center here. Flat black, simple, lower rear diffuser bumper area. And then the exhaust, normally I'm not a huge fan of that style, but the way that they actually have the tip shaped to just blend in nicely with that lower portion, I think they hit the nail on the head. And guess what? That's functional exhaust. It's not blocked off or anything like that, but let's pop the hood. We have an MDX with super handling all-wheel drive. Let's see what's powering. All right, guys, we got the hood pop. Before we dive underneath the hood, there are those signature chicane LED daytime running lamps. And then down below, you'll see those LED fog lamps really gonna illuminate the road nicely in front of you. Now, like I had told you at the start of the video, there are some suspension changes. Outback, all new multi-link rear suspension. And for the first time ever on an MDX, full double wishbone suspension very similar to the Acura TLX that's also new. Now, when we're looking underneath the engine compartment, I love what they did with the engine cover. You have this faux carbon fiber design. I'm digging the Acura badge, nicely placed. I wanna just point at this area over here. This is where your shock absorbers are gonna be mounted at the front. One on this side, on the driver's side, and one, of course, on the passenger side. These are now cast aluminum. That's a way for them to save weight but also make a more rigid chassis, including the whole new platform that this is sitting on. Now, underneath the hood, when it comes to power, this is gonna be that tried and true 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6. And like I had pointed out, you can get front wheel drive or the super handling all wheel drive. You're looking at 290 horsepower, 267 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission MPGs around 19 in the city, 25 on the highway. The vehicle with all-wheel drive, the super handling all-wheel drive, weighs around 4,503 pounds. Braking has also been improved. You got 13.8 inch fully ventilated rotors up front. You also have 7.3 inches of ground clearance as well. But looking at the engine compartment, I like that it's really clean. They got everything covered up just enough, but you can still see the engine. You're gonna have that naturally aspirated V6 power, but why don't we go ahead, let's fire it up and hear what it sounds like. All 
All right, guys, we're in the all new 2022 Acura MDX Advanced A Spec. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been waiting for this one. I'm liking what I'm seeing on Radies Rides. I can't wait to see it in person, but let me know. Peel the band aid off. What is the price of this new MDX? Well, starting price is around $46,000. Hours with the Super Handling All Wheel Drive Advanced A Spec trim, you're looking around an MSRP of $60,000. Let's see what you get for your hard-earned money. Let's go to the door panels. I love the soft touch material up top. If you'll notice in that black triangle, very smart the way they take the blind spot monitoring locator and put it right there, easy to see, and it's on the interior. Now there is a little bit of gloss black. You do have three memory seat settings for the passenger and the driver. I'm digging the silver trim. You're also getting a lot of ambient lighting color as well, which we can't showcase right now in direct sunlight but that is there for your visual pleasure. You'll also notice on our particular A-Spec, you have the red interior. The stitch work is great, soft material, even that center speaker cover there because we also have the ELS Studio 3D sound system, over 700 watts. It's been tweaked with 16 speakers to give you even better clarity, better sound. Nice size on the door pocket enough to easily put a large Bavarian pretzel with extra salt and a bottle of Coca-Cola to wash it down. Now, the great news is, just like Coca-Cola being manufactured in the United States, the Acura MDX is fully manufactured, designed in the United States, like many of all the other models in the lineup. Now, when we get from the door panel to the dash, that same wonderful soft touch material, while I'm up here, let me also point out that Acura has redesigned and updated the airbag for the front passenger. It's actually designed to mimic a catcher's mitt to protect your front passenger a lot more effectively. The silver trim is great. The red stitching is wonderful. My zonk is a little too much gloss black. Now, I understand the reason why they kept this high up to kind of flow nice into the door panel, but it would have been, I think, a little bit better to drop it down to about right around there, still keep a little gloss black, but this silver trim is just really tasteful and I love the design of it. The red, the stitching, even the silver here on the glove box handle to open up the glove box, and then you are gonna get a 12 volt for your passenger, easily placed for their charging capabilities or whatever else they're gonna put in there. And then the big cherry on top of this MDX Sunday is that infotainment system. That's a 12.3 inch, obviously, horizontal display, infotainment system. It's not a touch screen, but you do have the all new updated true touchpad interface, which we'll talk about that in a second. You're gonna have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, navigation as you can see. I'll pull up the home screen. You also have for the first time in the MDX, cabin talk. That is something that you have seen featured here on Radies Rides, say in a Honda Odyssey, where you could talk to your passengers without raising your voice through the speaker system. And then another thing right next to it is first time ever built-in Amazon Alexa. If you have never used it, let me show you how it works. Alexa, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop? I've never made it without biting. Ask Mr. O. So there you go. Actually very easy to use. And she may not have all the answers, but she could direct you to the right source to get that information. Of course, you're gonna get your Sirius XM and all those other great features. Now, let me go ahead and put it in reverse, show off the backup camera. So there we are, nice, clear. You can see that vehicle approaching us. And it's great to show off all that safety technology to keep you safe as you're backing out and pulling in and everything. And then you could change, if you notice I'm highlighting on the bottom there, the angles of the camera, which are great. So you can look directly down. Now remember, towing, can you tow with your Acura MDX? Of course, you can tow up to 5,000 pounds with your Acura MDX A-Spec. Really clean, we hit park again and we're right back to where we started. Now if you notice, we have our two screens and I'm gonna talk more about that in a few seconds. You have your start stop button, nice silver finish. I like the way it's illuminated red when the vehicle is running. More of that gloss black, you're gonna have your dual climate control and thank you, Acura. We have, believe it or not, ventilated seats and heated seats. You have that awesome 
dynamic mode selector switch. I love the way they put the Acura badge on there. I'm gonna have Lori show the screen again. As I twist this knob, you go through the different modes. So there we are, you can start off in snow. Look at the graphics, that's like Gran Turismo. I almost wanna get a game controller out and start playing with the MDX in snow mode. Comfort, normal, but who wants to be normal? Let's go sport. Look at that, your MDX is on fire. That's the kind of performance you're gonna get. Really, really great, the colors, the graphics, all new is gonna be individual. So you could actually put everything perfectly the way you want for you, which is really nice feature for 2022. We keep going, you got your push button transmission that is a 10 speed automatic. Look at this, hit that little guy right there, USB-C and a USB. Push that back down, look what we have, a nice Twinkie holder. Now the great news is, once you eat your Twinkie, you could fill this up with Red Hots. And the great news, on top of everything, as I was reading the expiration date, this thing expires in the year 2054. So that's, you can keep it in here forever and ever. Now here's that new TI interface. You have faster operating software. And the thing that's different about this touchpad is that you actually use this as the screen. So it's not about dragging like a mouse. It really isn't. It's about actually selecting on the screen. So I'm gonna hit my home button. And then if I wanna hit navigation, I just hit in the upper left-hand corner. So instead of touching the screen, I just hit the upper left-hand corner of the touchpad. And then the second mini pad is for the side. You wanna see what time it is? You wanna see what your, your XM Sirius station is? Very easy to just scroll. So once you get the hang of this, I think you're really gonna appreciate the great work that they've done. You do have a volume knob. I love the flat black. I love this palm rest here. You have your wireless charging, nicely placed, easy to get to. It's got a good grippy surface, two cup holders, and then the silver trim is really nice, super wide on the actual center console lid. Now, we lift this up. I'm actually gonna hit a different handle here. So we're gonna go real simple, push. Look at this. You actually have a place for Mentos, taste the fresh maker, and that secret location. When all else has failed and you don't have a snack on you, keep that other Twinkie in there and then watch this. We lift this up, you got a USB, a 12 volt, which is easy to get to, and you have a place, you could probably put two softballs in there, which is pretty cool. Close that, seats, A-spec, absolutely love the materials. The piping, that Alcantara microfiber suede material down the center, nice bolstering. Super, it's like a dark cherry color. Absolutely love it. You have all your seat settings, easy to get to. I'm six feet tall. I got plenty of room. I can feel the extra room in this 2022 MDX. And then of course, why not let the rays shine in for everybody? We have a nice panoramic sunroof that goes all the way back. And another thing I wanna show you while you're staring up is that you actually have new these speakers, very thin speakers, actually mounted up top to give you that premium 3D studio sound from ELS. But why don't you come on over to the business end? I want to show you behind the steering wheel that looks like it's right out of an NSX. Come on over. All right, guys. Business time behind the wheel. I'm sure you're wishing you were here. I promise you really do because it's amazing. Down below, I love what Acura does with their pedal arrangement. Lots of room in the foot box, super large dead pedal. When you go A-spec, you're gonna get all these nice brushed aluminum finishes down there. They look really good, lots of room. Of course, you're gonna get the A-spec badging on the sill here, looking really slick. All the seat controls, and you know what? It's interesting how they just put a little bit of different finish, and it really elevates the overall feel of just the switch gear for the seat. Lower lumbar feels phenomenal, and then the steering wheel. Like I said, it looks like it's right out of the NSX, which is also designed and built in Ohio, right here in the good old US of A. Thickness, the red stitching, I love the way they use the two different styles of leather with the perforated on the side. Flat bottom with the A-spec badge, clean on the buttons, and then you're gonna have these medium-sized paddles. They are plastic, but you know what? They do a really good job to make them feel almost like they are metal, and I do like the layout of them tilting and telescoping electric on the steering wheel. And then there's the other big piece of this massive Sunday. You get an extra cherry on top. That's a 12.3 inch digital display cluster. Look at the graphics. 
I love the way I could use the thumb wheel on the steering wheel and scroll through all that information. G-force meter, you got your all-wheel drive. Look at that, just amazing the clarity. And watch this, you go into the different modes. So I go from normal to sport, watch out, look at that. You have a tachometer across the top, you have a power monitor on the left. Just really nice to have that ability to change the personality of your driving experience. And while you're going through these different modes, it also changes the color of the ambient lighting. I really, really like that whole clean setup. Even the way they took the stitching and brought the stitching all the way across. I feel really good up here. Let's see how your mid-row passengers are gonna feel. And there's a new surprise on this 2022 MDX. All right, guys, mid-row time, and this is where the new MDX is really gonna flex some muscle. First off, you're gonna be able to sit three across, which is really versatile when it comes to seating arrangements, depending on how many people you need to carry. The good news is they're getting the same great, wonderful materials. Love the seat textures. Backs of the seats are one piece. The one thing I'm gonna issue a half zonk is the plastic. Now, the good news is it's easy to keep clean. The bad news is it just kind of drops the luxury feel a little bit, but I get it. You have kids, they're eating their powdered Dunkin' Donuts back here and they're getting fingerprints, powdered fingerprints all over the place. Easy to clean. You do have a nice large pocket on the back of each front seat. Put a couple books in there because you know what? Let your passengers learn. Learning is power. And the more that they learn, the more power that they will have. Speaking of power, we have full power AC for your back seat passengers. They can adjust the temperature, blower fan speed. You have your vents there. We also have more power. I got the power. Look at that. You have a 12 volt, two USBs. When it comes to the seats, I'm still six feet tall, haven't shrunk any, got plenty of headroom. Your passengers are going to get that great new speaker quality sound right from those super slim speakers located right there. You do have those manual security shades, sun shades, keep the peepers and the creepers out. And then really the biggest piece of this new puzzle is going to be this mid-row seat because watch this. Let's say you don't have a mid-seat a, a mid passenger, you just have a family of four. Now you got captain's chairs. You could easily just drop a whole one pound bag of Skittles in here. Look at the rainbow, taste the rainbow with that panoramic sunroof open, two cup holders, and then I hope you're ready. I almost feel like I'm doing a Ginsu commercial because watch this. Now, if you want flexibility and versatility, you could actually remove the whole seat. Now, I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, what are you going to do with it? Obviously, you could put it in the cargo area, keep it in the garage, but now you actually have a pass-through to get people into that third row or just pass things to them. Or maybe you got a big old bag of lace chips. I don't know. But that is versatility and flexibility of the MDX. I'm going to go ahead, do a couple laps around this parking lot, running around with this mid-row seat to get some workout in. Then we're going to get into that third row and see how it feels. All right, guys, time to get in that third row. I just got done running around. Here we go. Push the button up top. You're going to climb on in. And what I did was is I purposely left the mid row out to kind of just showcase what we got going on here. Without that mid row, look what I could do. Say I'm back here. You can see I'm six feet tall. So my legs are a little bit near my mouth. I don't want to be eating my, on my knees. So the good news is, is without that passenger there, you could kind of do one of these, or maybe one of these, or maybe one of those. So that's kind of nice to have that flexibility. Now, I'm going to get back here and show you the amount of space that we have with the seat and my knees. Obviously, it's a little bit further forward. If your passenger's a jerk, they could slide it back and really hurt your legs. I wouldn't want to stay back here very long, but I think this is perfect, especially if you find out that you have a couple kids that you didn't know about and you need to haul them around. You could put them back here, especially if they're younger and they're a little bit shorter. The only zonk that I have is I wish that there were there, there was some type of USB back here, at least just one, just to have that versatility to keep somebody back here for a longer period of time. But other than that, the seats feel great, have that same overall design. Why don't we go ahead, let's get to the cargo area and see what you could haul in the all new MDX. All right guys, cargo area time, most important time in an SUV. Hit the button, nice electric assist opens up at a great pace and once you get to the interior you're going to notice right off the bat you have the perfect little cubby area for that emergency box of twinkies especially if you're on a family road trip we don't want anybody to get hangry 
You do have a convenient 12 volt, which is wonderful. Going to the beach, you're doing tailgating. And then here is some new 2022 magic. So we have the third row up. This floor is actually changeable. Yes, it's like a transformer, more than meets the eye. Watch this. Pull this up, you could then drop it down. And now you're able to get those taller items. So if you go to Costco and you need that 50 gallon drum of hand sanitizer, you could actually now fit it a little bit more efficiently in the back with that lower loading floor. Another thing that I love is watch this. Let's say you go to the beach and you got the kids with all their sandy gear, everything that they've been using at the beach. You flip it over, you lock it in, and now you have a plastic, hard plastic underside that this is a lot easier to clean than if you had the carpet inside. And then when you're done, you just flip it back and nobody's the wiser. So I really like the super smart engineering in this vehicle. Now, we have the third row up. Let me show you how easy it is, just like before, to put the seats down. You're just gonna push, pull, and push. So now you're looking at that area and you're probably saying, well, Joe, how much room do we have? So with the third row up, you're looking at 39.1 cubic feet of space. With the um, seats folded down, you're looking at 71.4 cubic feet of space. Now what I'm gonna do is, is I'm actually going to put down the mid row to show you how much space that we have. So you put down one side, I'm gonna run around to the passenger side and put that side down as well. And if you're wondering, well, what about the middle guy? You just pull the tab right here and now you have about 90 cubic feet of space that's nice and flat. You could go to Costco, get that 100 inch LED TV that you've wanted forever and just slide it right in and plenty of room, not only top to bottom, but also front to back. But why don't we go ahead, let's close this right here. If you're ready, I'm ready to wrap this All one right, up. guys, it's been an amazing day with this 2022 Acura MDX. First of all, I gotta thank Chris, Karina, Sage, and the rest of the crew over at Acura for allowing Radies Rides the opportunity to bring this to you first. Now, I know you wanna see those on-throttle driving impressions, and I wanna bring them to you. We will be doing a separate review, a different style review on January 28th. That's when the embargo lifts. That's Thursday, January 28th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I wanted to show you the differences now. I think we were successful. Put that in the comment section if you feel that we were successful in showcasing the differences and let me know. Do you think this is the luxury sport SUV you want to park in your driveway or your garage? But stay tuned for that embargo information January 28th. If you want to keep seeing the new SUVs before anybody else is getting them, you want to keep seeing them here on Radies Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content, click the link in that description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to get up to the queen of the camera, the love of my life. Lori working that camera like a champ. Show her some love and shout outs in the comment section. Lori, you're doing a phenomenal job. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.